All right, guys, so today we're going to talk about former Oregon quarterback Tyler Shuck, who was recently in the transfer portal and just committed to Texas Tech. And so I, I think I think Texas Tech fans should be very excited for uh, Tyler Shuck and what he brings to the quarterback room, especially with Alan Bowman just now transferring to Michigan. That kind of fills that, that void of, of what Bowman left, essentially. And so I think regardless who wins this quarterback competition at Texas Tech, like several other of these transfer portal quarterbacks that we've talked about in, in the past few videos, his addition to the quarterback room is only going to make things better, whether he starts or not, and he has all the tools to start and come in there and win the competition. Uh, but again, they have some quality quarterbacks at Texas Tech, and so it's going to be a good competition nonetheless. However, Tyler Shuck has all the tools to be a very good quarterback, and he showed the, the, the tools at Oregon. I thought he had a good year last year in 2020. I know they're I'm not sure why he left or why it didn't work out. That's not for us to speculate or assume, but I just want to go ahead and break down the film, and we'll get into that in, in, in one quick second. But I think several tools you want to look for that he brings and, and, and his ability that he brings to Texas Tech is, one, he has the ability to push the ball downfield. So Texas Tech as a team, uh, their yards per attempt was less than seven. I think it was 6.7 last year in 2020 and you want to at least be at that seven-ish range that's kind of like the the, the what, what people think okay seven seven-ish is he's pushing the ball down the field some not as much as we would probably like but at least there is that threat uh anything under seven you kind of want to work on so last year as a team texas tech was under seven and for example talis shuck was at 9.3 at oregon that's a very very good number that means he's pushing the ball downfield and he was accurate i think he was at 63 his complete percentage was 63 which is a good percentage. Uh, if it wasn't 63, it was, kind of, it was right around there. And he passed over 1,500 yards, had 15 total touchdowns, uh, passing in on the air, I'm sorry, passing in on the ground, and then he had six interceptions. Um, and he has, he does have the ability to, to run. He had almost 300 yards on the ground, 271 uh, to be exact. So he's going to have a lot of different tools that he's going to bring to Texas Tech. The ability to climb the pocket, stay in the pocket, and throw from the pocket. The ability to anticipate. He has good field in his passes. He knows when to throw a one ball, which is kind of you know on a line, a two ball, which is kind of a floater, and a three ball, which is a bomb. He has that good feel. He has the ability to throw on the run, use his legs to hurt you, and he can push the ball downfield. That's huge for Texas Tech. That's really going to help open up their offense and just kind of help, help them as a team in general just have that threat that their quarterback can push the ball downfield. But again, I'm confident... Whoever wins that quarterback competition, uh, that Texas Tech is gonna is gonna be good offensively next year. But I think Texas Tech fans should be really excited for Tyler Shuck. Now let's go ahead and watch the film. So here's one of my favorite plays from Tyler Shuck from the whole 2020 season for Oregon. It, it's not one that is necessarily super flashy or, or one in the moment that you might be like blown away by. It's not a deep throw. It's it's not a a long run, but it is something that is impressive and one of the toughest throws I've seen him be able to make. We're going to see it's third and seven. Uh, he's from the right hash. He's going to throw a deep out for a first down while he takes a hit in the pocket. And it's not impressive that he can make that throw. It's obvious he has enough He has enough arm strength. He has a, he has a good arm and he can, is able to push the ball downfield. So it's not um, surprising or even super impressive if he can make that throw. He can do that in his sleep but it's the type of throw it is if you would have thrown this ball on a line it's a pick six because it's actually great coverage by the slot uh corner by the slot db against the slot receiver on this deep out and so he throws what we call a two ball which is in between a, a one a three one being kind of on the line a rocket three being a deep ball so he throws it has to throw it over the defender and still lead his receiver towards the sideline all while standing in the pocket and taking a hit on third down so let's go ahead and watch this i'll, I'll pause it right before he takes a hit we see Washington State is showing that they're bringing pressure. They have a man. They got their manned up across the whole line. Let's go ahead and watch this play. Tyler Shuck. See, we take a hit right here. Um, the ball is already released. We see it's good coverage. Again, if he throws in the line, this this DB is going to be able to undercut it. So he has to make that adjustment. It just shows good feel in the pocket uh, as, as well. I just muted it. I'm sorry. So let's go ahead and watch this. The, the end of this play. What a great ball on third and seven. Great throw. So here's a great example of Talis Shuck's ability to push the ball downfield, to spread the defense out, and now the defense knows, you know, early in the game, it's first quarter, they know he has the ability to throw the ball downfield to pretty much make any throw possible. He, like we talked earlier, his uh, yards per attempt in 2020 were right at 9.3, which is 
excellent. That's a, that's a very high number. And so uh, that means the majority of his throws are going downfield. And this is a great throw and just shows his ability to make those throws. And, and we're going to give, we're gonna have to give the receiver some props here because it's a hell of a catch. So let's go ahead and watch this play. From his five, from his six. That's 50 plus yards in the air cross field. What a catch. But this showing his ability to push the ball downfield. So this play right here is going, to hit, is going to show his ability to use his legs and get upfield and go north to south pretty quickly. And he shows a, a good, um, impressive ability to get to top speed fairly quickly. And it shows a good burst through the hole. And we're going to see just a quick zone read here. And usually when, when the running back's on your left, you're going to be reading the outside backer or DN and look to keep it that way. We're going to see it's a little different here. Pressure comes from the linebacker or this slot DB right here. And we're going to see that Shuck actually reads him. Uh, instead and is able to keep it and kind of bust right up the middle. We're going to see he holds on to the ball to the last second possible. Uh, it just shows a, a great uh, feel for the play, right? Not just athletic ability, but feel for the play and just uh, being intelligent about what to do with the ball and, and being just deceptive with it. So let's go ahead and watch this play here. We see a linebacker coming in, takes a running back, holds it, boom, gets upfield, shows an impressive burst, good 20-ish plus yard gain there. So like we talked about earlier, Tyler Shuck is a good athlete. He has ability to use his legs. However, he doesn't necessarily use his legs to to with the intent to run. Yes, he takes it if he has to, and he's able to to, to hurt you with his legs and can bust one uh, can bust a long run if he needs to. But he's always using his legs and seeking to use his legs to open up the passing game. And, and we're able to see that here, and it's evident because the fact that the DBs and, and the linebackers, the defense, and all have to worry about his legs that it opens up a lot more uh, opportunities and and schematic play calling that Tyler Shuck can get outside if he needs to and, and deliver the ball uh, on the run, which is a very good job. So we're going to see him on the run, delivering a strike on the run and getting outside the pocket, and, but having patience as well for the receiver to come open. So we're going to watch this play. Again, gets outside. People bite. Hits his tight end right here, come across the field. Good job on the run. So this is another good example of just Tyler Shuck being good with his zone read here and being able to to hold on the ball the very last minute. It's going to end up being a touchdown, and this this uh, I believe this tight end or halfback um, is wide open here. But watch his ability to, to to just keep the DBs engaged with what's going on here. And so if these guys and the linebackers are they're engaged with what's going on down here, they're not engaged with what's going on back here, which allows uh, this Oregon player to get open. But let's watch him keep it the last second possible, and then he'll pull it and throw for a touchdown. Holds it, takes a hit. Everyone bites up. Easy throw. But it's all it all started back with Shuck in the backfield. So again, a lot to like about Tyler Shuck, the abilities that he's bringing to the Texas Tech quarterback room, the tools that he has, and then him working with uh, Matt Wells and, 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 and Cumby as their offensive coordinator. I think there's a lot to uh, be excited about as a Texas Tech fan. Again, he can push the ball downfield. He can hurt you with his legs. He can stand in the pocket and has good feel in his passes. And he had some good production last year at Oregon. He already has that experience. And so now he's coming to Texas Tech and he's going to be uh, able to compete for that starting job. Uh, but again, just uh, the, the those clips and those four or five videos that we watched just a few minutes ago kind of show all his abilities that he has as a quarterback. So uh, really looking forward to the Texas Tech competition. I think it's going to be fun. We will definitely do a video about the Texas Tech quarterback competition once spring gets rolling. But if you like this video, please give it a like. If you like this channel or anything quarterback related content, whether it's quarterback breakdowns, film analysis, uh, how we assess and view movement from the quarterback position and from the, from the weight room and kind of a treatment standpoint or whatever it is any quarterback related content uh we put out on our channel so please give us a subscribe give us a subscription if you like it uh, a like comment at the bottom if you have anything specific to this video any any advice or suggestions and we will definitely uh take that into consideration and hopefully get this channel better so again thank you for watching and we'll see you next time